Hi guys, you're looking at the new Lexus LC and it's a new two-door grand touring sport coupe from the Japanese luxury brand. So what's the big deal about the LC? Well, there are two things. The first thing is that it's a car that nobody thought Lexus would actually build. It's based very closely upon the LF LC concept which debuted at the 2015 Tokyo Motor Show. And that is a pretty wild jump for Lexus, taking a concept car, making it into a full production vehicle. And the result, as you can see, is pretty stunning. And secondly, this car was also benchmarked against cars like the Maserati Gran Turismo, amongst others. But it really tells you all you need to know about where Lexus is going with this. They're going for dynamic appeal. They're going for sex appeal they're going for lovely lines you know it's almost like an italian experience but done in a uniquely lexus way so enough about how the car looks let's take a look on the inside and find out how it drives okay this is the interior of the lc coupe and one of the first things you notice about it is this mono cockpit feel you have this wrap around feeling which is supposed to give the driver a sense of occasion and that paired with the traditional Lexus attention to detail makes it quite a special feeling interior. I personally like it quite much. Um, we have our perforated leather steering wheel here. We've got our instrument cluster, which is the same as on the RCF. There's a central movable um, dial, which is inspired by the LFA Coupe. And we have our mode shifters here, traction off, um, drive mode control up here. And we have, you know, all these little things that add up to make a lovely feeling Lexus cabin. For example, we have the shifter pedals here that are really big and tall. And they're made of magnesium, for example. We have your trim panel here that's made of specially cut glass. Um, got our, and of course, every single stitch and almost every single thing is in place nicely. If you look at the cabin, it's just a really wonderful place to be in. So, but we don't buy sport coupes to look at them, we buy them to drive. So let's have a start up. Yes, and all. We're going to shift it into sport plus mode, manual, and then we can see what this baby can do. Very controllable. Um, I wouldn't say it's uh, super sharp. You're not going to take the LC to track. You could if you would, but it's more for B roads, open highways, having that big burst of power um, on hand all the time. And another cool thing about this car is it also debuts Lexus's 10 speed gearbox. Now, the 10 speed gearbox, um, you're not counting just because it's got 10 speed doesn't mean it's good, but it's good because it does everything you want. Um, Lexus says it has predictive technology, so it depends. It takes all the inputs that you're doing, the throttle, brake, steering, and kind of predicts uh, this driving mode as well. Kind of predicts what you want to do. But now I'm in manual mode, just so you can see how quick the shifts are. This is a very tight road, so I can't go that quickly, but. I hope you get an idea of what the LC is capable of. Sounds glorious too, that always helps. So what Lexus is trying to do with the LC is to build a coupe that is emotionally appealing and they're not competing at a numbers level with the Germans but they're trying to do something different and with design, with the performance and having driven it, been around it, uh, I can say that it's a really really special Grand Touring Coupe and there's nothing quite like it around. Um, if you want to know more about the car, check out carbuyer.com.sg and read our review. So see you there.